My name is Michael. I'm a small business owner. I'm giving Reaper a five out of five. For more reviews like this, click below. So throughout my career uh, working in audio uh, music, I have used a number of different platforms, different uh, DAWs as they're known, digital audio workstations. Uh, Reaper is one that I've used a number of times. So while I haven't exactly switched from any one uh, in particular, I have um, had experience using a, um, a lot of different ones. Um, Reaper I've used specifically uh, for more in a live recording setting, so using it to um, record live concerts. Uh, for this, it works really well because it's really fast um, and it's really portable. The software is super cheap um, as well, so you can really uh, maximize uh, your usage uh, for that specific format. Uh, also works when you're in studios as well. Um, some other software that I've used uh, would be Pro Tools, Cubase, and Logic as well. Um, I find that Reaper um, specifically excels in this sort of live uh, recording format. Probably the main reason that I would choose Reaper um, has to do honestly with the price. Um, it's really fairly valued, probably undervalued a bit actually. Um, it's really affordable. Um, the program um, is really in depth as well and it's really fast. It runs really smoothly. Um, you're not going to develop, uh, have, incur a lot of hiccups using it, um, which makes it good for sort of high intensity um, live recording uh, applications. Um, so yeah, that's probably the main reason, um, and the main edge that this one has. It's definitely less known than some of the other bigger ones, um, as well. Um, so yeah. Yeah, so getting started with Reaper, probably just about the same as getting started with any other type of DAW. If you're familiar with sort of the main functions, uh, that you're going to find in a digital audio workstation, you're probably going to recognize a lot of the features and functionalities here. Like with any of them, um, you're going to definitely need to spend a bit of time to learn all the features, um, learn all the ins and outs, any shortcuts, stuff like that. Um, thankfully, they have sort of combined some of the best of all, all the different ones. Um, so you're, you may find that some of the shortcuts are similar, um, at least that I did from having used Pro Tools mostly. Um, I did find that, that you can translate some of that knowledge into working with Reaper. So if it's, if it's your first time using any DAW, uh, the learning curve is going to be steeper than if you've used other ones before. Um, so getting going, um, pretty simple, definitely easy to download and purchase it as well, get it installed. Um, that part is super easy. Um, you know, like with any really in-depth piece of software, uh, you know, you should know that you're going to have to spend a good amount of time with it to become an expert. But uh, very easy interface, uh, great user experience overall. They also have a cool feature that you can add different skins uh, to the software. So if you want to have different looks at it, um, you can make it look like Pro Tools, which some people like, um, or you can make it, uh, they have a number of different, like, sort of just visually uh, appealing things that you can do with it. So that's kind of cool as well. Um, but overall, pretty, pretty simple to get started with Reaper. Yeah, I would recommend if you are thinking about getting Reaper, I would probably just go ahead and get yourself a license and try it out, see if it works for you. Unlike Pro Tools or some of the other ones, uh, this is going to be actually probably the cheapest one that I found. Um, there's no recurring software subscriptions, anything like that. It's a one-time fee for one license. Um, very reasonably priced. You can just buy it and just have it, see if you like it. I, there may also be a free trial. I'm not sure. Um, I just went ahead and purchased it because it, it is that cheap. Um, so I, I, if you're thinking about getting it, as with all these things, it's, it, it can get complicated in terms of what your application is, what you're using it for. So you really need to assess um, exactly what type of usage you want to get out of it. If you're working in a big professional studio or you are a big professional studio and you need people to be familiar with your software, unfortunately, not too many people even really know about Reaper. Uh, I think that's changing a bit, but it's not the kind of ubiquitous software that you're going to find with Logic or, or Pro Tools. Um, but if you're just kind of at home and you just want a really high, powerful DAW that you can use to record and edit um, or uh, stuff, you know, basically, uh, this is going to be a great option for you, if you, especially if you're sort of self-contained and you don't need to interface with other, other users. Um, really powerful for that. So if you're thinking about it, if you're watching this review, I'd say just go ahead and give it a shot and see, see how it feels to you. But definitely recommend it for me.